Sergio Perez is fighting against noise about his Formula One future, insisting he'll remain with Red Bull next season despite a rough run of results. But the way his superiors mention other names when talking about Red Bull's future says otherwise. What does it all mean for Checo? You're about to find out, so keep watching. The Mexican driver, whose 2024 campaign has been plagued by setbacks, faced another challenging weekend at the Brazilian GP, finishing 11th after a disappointing performance at his home race in Mexico, where he ended up last. With just 12 points from his last six races and no podium since April's Chinese Grand Prix, Perez's Red Bull future has come under heavy scrutiny. It hasn't helped that young talents Liam Lawson and Yuki Tsunoda, both excelling at VCARB, have been linked to a potential battle for Perez's seat. Undeterred by the mounting speculation, Perez dismissed the chatter at the Brazilian GP, confidently telling the media that no changes are coming to his Red Bull role. He said, No, not at all, it's just rumours at the end of the day. You will see me in Vegas, you will see me next year, I'm not the one that worries about it. I know I am going to be here. That's all I can say. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner says that the team must look at the facts when evaluating Sergio Perez's future, following another disaster of a Formula One weekend in Brazil. The Mexican driver's chances took a hit early in when he spun out of turn 10 on the opening lap, dropping his Red Bull to the back of the field and making it even harder to recover. Despite the challenges, teammate Max Verstappen proved that recovery was possible in the wet conditions, charging from 17th on the grid to clinch the victory. Perez had made his way back to 10th place when a clash with teammate Liam Lawson disrupted his momentum. A wide moment into turn four then allowed Lewis Hamilton to slip by, further hindering his progress. With Verstappen's victory restoring Red Bull's winning streak, Christian Horner admitted that Perez's failure to score was a major setback for the team's constructors' championship aspirations. Speaking to the media, Horner reflected on the impact of the result. It was a difficult race for Checo. Spinning at the beginning of the race drops him down. Today was an opportunity in the constructors to take a big chunk out of both Ferrari and McLaren. Unfortunately, we've not been able to capitalise on that, so obviously that's frustrating. But we'll go away and have a look at it and come back hopefully fighting hard in Vegas. Verstappen was in a class of his own in the wet conditions, making an impressive sixth-place gain on the opening lap and picking off several more competitors in the early stages. When asked about Perez's inability to replicate Verstappen's performance, Horner offered his thoughts, stating, I haven't sat in the debrief. I haven't heard his comments. But there was nothing evident to me in the race. Perez's lacklustre performance means he has earned a measly 20 points across the seven races since the summer break, falling short of Verstappen's tally from just the Brazilian Grand Prix alone. With Red Bull now sitting third in the standings, trailing McLaren and Ferrari, Horner acknowledged that difficult decisions are looming regarding Perez's future. When asked if the time to consider a driver swap was approaching, Horner responded, I think everything in life is subjective and you've got to look at the facts. We're working hard with Checo, he had a chassis change this weekend. I thought he drove a good race yesterday, but today wasn't his day. Rumours grew louder when whispers emerged about Red Bull advisor Helmut Marco's uncertainty regarding Perez's position for 2025. Marco has confirmed that a decision regarding Perez's future will be made after the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, with Lawson reportedly the front-runner to replace him. Checo has a contract for next year, but we are evaluating the whole situation. After Abu Dhabi, we will know all the facts and we will make our decision, Marco said. Jos Verstappen has revealed that he wouldn't be opposed to Liam Lawson stepping in for Sergio Perez, stating that Max needs a teammate who is competitive and pushes him. This comment comes despite Perez having signed a one-year deal with Red Bull in June, with an option for a second season. Liam Lawson is currently halfway through his six-race audition and has already earned four points in the V-Carb, while Perez has managed just seven points in the same period with Red Bull. Jos Verstappen, father of Red Bull's triple world champion, has no objections to Lawson partnering Max next season. Verstappen shared his thoughts during an interview with Viaplay where he said, I think Lawson is doing very well. It seems logical to me that he is ready to step up. Let him finish this season and build confidence. And then the team has to decide what they do for next year. I certainly don't oppose that, Lawson replacing Perez. It's better if there is someone who is competitive and pushes Max forward a bit. That always helps. But we'll see. If such a move ever happens, Red Bull faces a dilemma, as Liam Lawson has made it clear, both on the track and in his words, that he's not interested in playing the role of a wingman. After his clash with Perez at the Mexican Grand Prix, 
Lawson made his stance even more apparent. Obviously, my goal is not to go out and make enemies of anybody. I'm not trying to cause any issues or anything like that. But at the same time, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win, and that's what I'm focused on doing. Right now, Red Bull enjoys teammate harmony, as Perez doesn't pose a challenge to Verstappen, but this has left them with just one car consistently securing vital points. Red Bull has also been linked to Williams's Franco Colapinto, with reports suggesting he may have already signed with the team. The question now is whether Colapinto will replace Perez next season, or if he'll take the V-carb seat, leaving Lawson to partner Verstappen at Red Bull. Horner even mentioned Colapinto in the same breath as his Red Bull drivers recently. Sergio Perez is our current driver. Liam Lawson did a super job again today in Yuki Tsunoda. Liam particularly, considering his experience, Franco is another talent, so of course you're always keeping an eye on the market of how things are developing. Johnny Herbert believes that if Red Bull is really serious about the Constructors' Championship, they must replace Sergio Perez for the 2025 season. Herbert shared his thoughts with safestbettingsites.co.uk, stating, It has always been said that Checo is valuable because of the sponsorship he brings. Do they need it? I'd be surprised if Red Bull really needed it. What the team does need is someone who can perform in the car up against Max. The way Liam has come in and driven very well, you'd think he would be in with a shot. Yuki has also driven very well and perhaps should have been on the podium on Sunday. He is also a good shout. I have been very impressed with his improvement. It is horrible to see what is happening with Checo. His season has crumbled into a scenario where he cannot get comfortable eye on the car. That's the physical side of it. And there's also the mental side. The crushing by Max, who is always way ahead of him. That is something that is very hard to deal with. He hasn't earned the seat for next year. If Red Bull are really serious about the Constructors' Championship, they have to have a second driver who is going to pull his weight. Liam, or Yuki, should get the chance. Timo Glock is sure that Sergio Perez won't be at Red Bull much longer, especially after finishing 50 seconds behind Max Verstappen, despite starting the Brazilian GP five places ahead of him. Perez described his Brazilian Grand Prix as a disaster, admitting that everything that could go wrong did. He particularly pointed to the aborted start as a key moment that set the tone for his race. He said, yeah, it was a disaster. We didn't know at the time that we could change the tyres until very last minute, and there was no time to change them. And we started the race with very cool tyres. And then, as there was no one ahead of me, I started and went into a hole of water. So it was a total disaster the start. We came all the way to Liam Lawson, and then we ended up touching a bit into turn one, and then I went straight at turn four, losing the position to Lewis Hamilton. It was a total disaster. Nothing worked. Glock described the race as a disaster Perez could ill afford, particularly with his future under scrutiny. The former F1 driver firmly believes that Perez's days at Red Bull are numbered. Speaking to Sky Deutschland, he said, we must not forget the spin at the very beginning of the race. These are mistakes that he must not make, especially not in the current situation. It is not a good calling card, and he is clearly on the ropes. In the end, I am sure that we will not see him in the Red Bull for much longer. How long do you give Sergio Perez before he is sacked from Red Bull? Give us a time frame in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.